this 2021. Be informed. Be guided. Be inspired. As the office of EASDS proudly presents the mini devotional for leaders. Isang mapagpalang araw sa inyong lahat. A blessed day to all of you. Welcome to Hector Makalalag's Leadership Channel and welcome to the Mini Devotional for Leaders by Jim Saber. Maraming salamat sa mga supporters and to all the avid subscribers and listeners. This is episode number 76. And the title of our episode is Don't Overindulge. Don't Overindulge. Okay? In Colossians chapter 3, verse 5, Don't be greedy, for a greedy person is an idolater, worshipping the things of this world. One in three Americans is obese. Wow! Parang na ano na tayo? Opening statement pa nun. Parang ako yung pinapalinggan. The two-thirds are overweight because we have forgotten to say no thank you. I have enough. This is for me. We have an insatiable appetite for more. It's not that we eat that makes us sick, but the sad fact that we don't know when to step away from the table. Organization can also display patterns of overindulgence. Leaders who lost their ability to step away from the table develop unhealthy appetites for growth, increased profits, or market dominance, all of which result in serious consequences, similar to those who brought about by physical obesity. Fall is not asking you to ignore your desires. On the contrary, God wants to grant the desires of your heart, but He wants you to focus on what's important and what's that. Learn to control your appetite for more. Yung appetite hindi naman din sa pagkain mo. Your appetite for power, your appetite for material things, pwede rin ganun. Perhaps you have been caught in the greediness trap. Are these projects you have taken on simply because they were on the table? So pag yung greediness talaga, pumunta sa heart ng mga tao, you will all be overindulged. So the leadership principle is, do you need to put your organization on a diet? Wow! Organization's diet. Ngayon ko lang Have a blessed day. Everyone.